Hi, I'm Jeff Schroeder. And I'm Jordan Lloyd. We met and fell in love on the TV series Big Brother. After three years of dating, we decided to take the next step and move to Los Angeles. We're taking Route 66 from Chicago to Los Angeles. We don't know how it's going to end up, but we're definitely going to enjoy the ride. Could you be a little happier? No, you make me mad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Last time on Jeff and Jordan Do America. We said our goodbyes to family and friends, and now we're starting our adventure on Route 66. Love, have you ever been to Buckingham Fountain? No, what is it? It's this huge fountain in Chicago. It's like the beginning of Route 66. This is the first stop of the rest of our lives. I'm totally excited about this trip. I'm excited about starting a new beginning. I feel like we're already married or something now. And now we're about to start a new life or something. Wow. Everyone's always asking if me and Jordan are gonna get engaged or get married anytime soon. And right now for us, this seems right. If I'm moving all this way, I, I do expect something within a year or two. I would hope that he would marry me eventually. Let's kiss Chicago goodbye. I'm driving the northern part and she's driving the southern part. Cause I'm worried about the roads up here. Too busy, too much for me right now. I'll get anxiety, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm going. I'm driving at the slower pace. I'm a slower pace person. He's more fast pace, so he can get all his anger out, his road rage out. I think this guy wants to get in, is what I think. And I think no. What's up, tough guy? You see me looking at you. Everyone else is looking except the driver because he knows he should have let me in. Relax. You're terrible at yelling at people in your car. So I'll drive the first five hours till we get south and you can take it from there. Not all the way. All the way, I can't drive in this. It's too slow for me in the south. <laughs> I get anxiety. <laughs> and so it begins. I've been on this road too long and I'm tired. <laughs> we just left three hours ago. <laughs> and you've been sleeping in the bag. We, we should get to California by December. <laughs> Jeffrey, I'm hungry. Hungry? Yeah. I got the perfect place. It's called Cozy Dogs. They've been around for like 70 years. The best corn dog this side of Mississippi. I called my boy Tony over at Cozy Dogs and asked him if we were allowed to make some dogs on a stick and he let us jump right in. I'll walk you through one and then we'll see how you do. Is there a secret to your corn dog that you can't reveal? There is. Yes, we make our own original recipe batter that's remained unchanged since 1946. Oh yeah, look at those dogs. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. I got a lot of tail on my dog. Reminds me of oh, cow good. nipples. As we're using the batter, and I'm going through, you lift it up and it's dripping and it just looked like cow nipples, which was really weird. It was funny though, just because you kind of want to squeeze one. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. I put mustard and relish on it and then I had another, I had two hot dogs on a stick. I saw Henry's Rabbit Ranch and I loved it. I thought it was a really cool place and I love rabbits. Look at that rabbit right there. Look at that big rabbit. My favorite part of the Rabbit Ranch were definitely Rich and Linda. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hey. hey, what's going on? I'm uh, Rich, that's my wife, Linda. Hi, Hi Linda. Jordan. Nice to meet you. Jordan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The favorite Jeff and Jordan question is when you guys going to get engaged? And Rich, knowing us for about three seconds, popped it and asked me. There was a couple from the Netherlands uh, going on their honeymoon. And it kind of makes me wonder, are you guys going to get married? I don't, you never know. <laughs> really? He's you know, speechless okay. right now. This is our first day on the road, okay. so I don't There's want I don't want to let the hair out of the bag. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of romance on 66. I think it's really cool that we put our names in the guest book along with other newlywed couples who have been on Route 66 and taken this route together. So I thought it was kind of special. It was special. <laughs> Jordan, why are we heading east? Well, I got a little surprise for you.
I'm not the best with directions, but I know we have to go west the whole road trip. And when we were going east, I knew there was something wrong. We're going to my grandparents' house. Dude, it's like three hours. It's like about Route 66. It's kind of unsettling for me to come meet her grandparents, knowing how strongly they believe in marriage before moving in. How are you, you Pat? Good. <laughs> Hey, how are you? Good to good. see you. How are you? Very good, hey, very good. Yeah. Hey, Jordan. I know Jordan's grandpa's going to want to sit down and talk with me about the fact that we're moving in together before marriage. So what, what's the trick of the long-lasting marriage making it work? Any tips? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you those tips here in a little bit when you and I talk one on one. Coming up on Jeff and Jordan Do America. When you guys share a marriage bed on God's size, you're committing to one another. She's expecting more than just a sleep in. 